And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here live from LA. And in this tutorial, we're gonna have my bro Herman Huang, AKA Coffee Liquor, show us how to make a paper tear transition in After Effects. Guys, we are currently in another creative week and it's sponsored by Envato Elements. You can actually get a free month of Envato Elements in the link below, but more on that a little bit later. Coffee Liquor is gonna be releasing one video every day this week diving into the incredible world of VFX. Coffee Liquor is an extremely talented VFX artist based out of Vancouver, Canada. Now in the link below, there's actually a project file that you can download so you can actually do the tutorial with me in real time. Try this though, watch this tutorial all the way through once, just sitting back and relaxing and soaking it in and then download the project file and then watch it a second time and then actually do the tutorial with me while editing with the project file. Herman. The floor is yours. Thank you as usual for hyping me up, Josh. Now today we're gonna learn how to do the simple paper tear transition that you see right here. So it's super easy to do. All you need is a green poster board that you can buy from your local dollar store, kind of like what I did. So let's talk about what you actually need to film. So there's two clips. If you want to do something similar to what I did, there's a before footage and also an after footage. So for the before footage, it's going to be me reaching over to fake the action of about to, you know, grab the paper and tear it. And then the after footage is of me actually tearing the green poster board that I bought and then just revealing whatever happens afterwards. Now, something to keep in mind is that when you're shooting, you want to make sure that the green is evenly lit because you're going to be keying it out in After Effects and having a soft, even light will make it much easier for yourself. Now you can follow along with this tutorial by downloading the provided project file in the description below. And uh, yeah, the clips are in there. So you're ready to rock and roll. So once you've downloaded that or shot your own footage, let's hop in front of your computer and launch After Effects. So we have launched After Effects and we have the two footage over here that has been provided for you. If you decided to follow along with the provided project file, we have Paper Tear Transition Clip 1 which is me walking all silly and making weird faces because I have no idea. I have no justification. And this is basically the before clip. So before the transition. And then we have paper tear transition clip number two. As you can guess, this is the after transition where I tear a green poster board to reveal a slightly more handsome self. Okay, I at least look different. And what we're gonna do with these two clips is First, we're gonna drag this into this icon, which will create a new composition so that this clip is now in a new composition. We're gonna hit Control K so that we can change the dimensions of this because I don't want it to be rotated 90 degrees. It's kind of weird. I'm going to actually set it to Instagram's portrait mode dimensions, which is 1080 by 1350. Hit OK. We're going to rename this comp to something like Instagram paper tear and then put it into the tutorial bin because organization is key. And then we're gonna drop in the second clip on top as well. And then for both these clips, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight them by hitting Control A to highlight all, hit R to bring up the rotation. And for both of them, I'm going to do minus 90 degrees and that will rotate it upright. Hit S to bring up the scale. And then we can rescale the footage to whatever we like. Something like this is okay. And we can always reposition it to whatever we would like as well. So something like this, we can always play around with it later. But the first thing I wanna work with is our clip number one. I'm gonna rename this to before, just so it's a little bit easier to remember. And this one, the after. We're going to hide the visibility of the after footage because we don't care about it yet. We're going to work with this before footage and basically see where we want the paper tear transition to happen. So in this case, I kind of just want to lower both of them a little bit like this. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna tell you about Envato Elements. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning, they also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. Okay, so starting from around here, I'm going to freeze frame this moment. I'm going to hit Control Shift D. And what this essentially does is duplicate the layer and split it at where your player head is. And why I'm doing this is because I'm going to right click it. I'm going to hit time and then freeze frame. And this will freeze the frame. 
at that point, just like that. So I'm gonna hit Control K again. So I'm gonna make this composition a little bit longer. Uh, let's say 20 seconds for now. And then we're gonna extend this freeze frame. So now that you've kind of finished working with your before footage, which you can always reposition after or before, really doesn't matter, but you're ready to work on your after footage. Now the after footage is where things are gonna get a little bit trickier because you're going to key out the green poster board, but don't be intimidated. It's actually fairly easy to do. We're going to turn the visibility back on and we're just going to work with this after footage for now. I'm going to reposition it to something I think is quite reasonable, which is around here. And then we're going to highlight this, bring up my effects console, which is a plugin by Video Copilot that will save you a little bit of time from going to the effects panel on the right and bringing up your effects. So all I have to do is type in key light. Now there's two that appear. The one, the longer one that looks like a sentence is the one that I usually go with because it has all these fancy things to make it look even cleaner. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hide this key cleaner for now and work with just the key light. We're going to go to the beginning like this where I see all this green. And then I'm going to choose the screen color to this. And I'm gonna hide the footage underneath just so I can see what is transparent, what is black. In this case, I'm going to key a different part to give me better results. And I'm going to also play with the screen gain so that it really keys most of the green. Now, before we continue, if you're liking the video so far, please check out my Instagram page at Coffee Liquor and you can see what I've been working on. Shoot me a DM if you wanna chat or if you got any questions as well, cause I'd be more than happy to reply back. All right, let's continue. Now, this is why I was saying that it's really important to have your green poster board evenly lit so that it'll be easier for you to key later in post. So right now this is looking a little bit dirty, but I'm going to go to the view and I'm going to go to screen mat. And this essentially shows me what is being keyed right now. So all the black parts is going to be transparent. All the white parts is going to be solid. And this tutorial is not about keying. So I'm not going to get too into it, but play around with the settings so that you get somewhere that looks good to you. So in this case, I'm going to go into screen mat and I'm going to just play with the clip black and also the clip white to the point where the green poster board will be black in this case while everything else is white. So something like this is not looking too bad. We're going to go back to intermediate results and then we're going to turn on the key cleaner and also the advanced spill suppressor. So now when I play this through, I'm just going to do it at half res. You can see that the poster board becomes black, but it's actually transparent. If you toggle this toggle transparency grid, you can see all the parts that are transparent. Now these parts start to look a little bit dirty, but you can always mask this out, which is what I did for my final video. So I encourage you to do so as well. But essentially this is kind of what it looks like. And starting from here, for some reason, it's doing this weird thing where it tints everything green, possibly because the poster board is gone and there's nothing else to key. So I'm going to basically do that shortcut where I split the clip, control shift D, and then I'm just going to remove all of the effects like this starting from here. Just for this example, of course, depending on your footage, you can finesse it however much you like. And then I'm going to move both of these after footage. I'll change the color to orange, just so it's a little bit easier to see and differentiate from the before footage. And we're going to move it to the point where we want to reveal it. So now you can turn the visibility back on for the before footage, and then you can time it so that the tear happens the moment that you would like it to happen. Boom. Maybe we'll shift it a couple frames. Pacing and timing is really important. And it is as simple as that. You're done your paper tear transition. Now at this point, there's a few things that you can do to push it so that it looks even better. However, this is all optional. You're essentially done at this point. But what I want to do is kind of create a bit of a, I guess, paper quality while it's being teared. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to highlight the freeze frame. I'm going to use the puppet tool, which is this tool over here, puppet position pin tool. And I'm going to start creating some pins along the edges. And a few in the middle like so. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to hit you and you again to bring up all these keyframes that I created for the puppet pin. And then I'm going to basically animate so that it looks like it's tearing apart the image. So around here, 
I'm going to start moving these pins outwards like this because the paper is being teared from the middle and also being kind of like stretched a little bit. So I want that effect where the middle is being torn apart. So now when I play this through, you can see that the image is starting to stretch to the side a little bit. And that's just a really small detail to make it look just a little bit better. If you'd like, you can also desaturate a little bit or even add a paper texture to you. But at this point, you have a really cool transition that you can apply to literally anything. And that is it guys, it is as easy as that and it's a transition with endless applications. Now to name a few uses, uh, one of the ways could be a quick change similar to what I did and it feels very Zach King-like. If you don't know who Zach King is then, you have to watch his videos. Every one of them is epic. Now another way to use this transition is to break an illusion to reveal the reality. So for example, you're in the middle of a Zoom call and it looks like you're in front of an office setting and then you just tear that piece of paper to reveal that you're actually vacationing in Hawaii. Finally, you could use it just as a simple transition, maybe in a music video to change from one location to another and it's a nice way to spice it up. So I highly encourage you to try this one out, especially with how easy it is to do. And if you like something like this, then you should check out the Paper Crumble Transition on the Josh Olufemi channel by his friend Yasik. Keep an eye out for the next tutorial from Josh or myself. And if you haven't done so already, please check out my Instagram. The handle is at coffeelaker. And until the next tutorial, back to you, Josh. Herman, thank you so much for yet another incredible VFX tutorial. Please make sure to watch all the other incredible tutorials that we have in this month's Creative Week with Herman Huang. I got two more videos for you to check out right here. Remember to get your free month of Envato Elements in the link below. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always remember to keep it chill.